Good evening, everybody. Keith here. I'm going to wait a few minutes, see if we get a uh, few viewers here before I get started. So in the meantime, hope everybody's having a good day, staying warm, um, staying peaceful, showing love, sharing love, and being brothers and sisters to each other no matter what. Because when it comes down to where we are in today's life, um, no matter who you are, no matter where you're at, no matter what you're doing, um, there's thing, there are things that have been going on for a very long time, um, hundreds of years, um, thousands of years. And basically what it is, is the uh, people of the elites that uh, have this thing about greed. And they use all these divisionary tactics to, to confine people through their own mental belief system to smaller groups of people so that they're easier to overcome. Whereas if we all just bond together as the true brothers and sisters that we are, then they have not a chance in the world of defeating us. So when it comes down to the uh, divisionary tactics that the elites use, we're talking about politics, religion, races, all of that stuff. Education, class, social class, monetary classes, everything. And basically, um, <coughs> um, if you look in my post here earlier today, you'll see a video in regards to the same issue and I'm sorry I got a little uh, irate and uh, profane about things but when it comes down to um, putting the truth out there you have to understand when you're going to come to my page or try to rebut something that I say or post something in the public where I can get on and and give my thoughts about it that's all I'm doing is giving my thoughts don't sit there and try to attack me and then label me because I don't allow labels. If there's any kind of a label, it's brother and sister of mankind, period. So when you want to throw on this stuff about how you're a Moor and, and your heritage comes from a certain point, remember, particularly you Moors, when you want to sit there and claim that your heritage starts at a certain point in history, and not the beginning of man, as in the 12 tribes of Israel, or before that, as scientifically proven, existed long before the supposed 12 tribes of Israel. And then when you want to think about the 12 tribes of Israel, remember the word human. Human is the color of man, or not the color of man, the hue of man the shade of man because all mankind as it's been explained if you look in that post that I that I uh, posted earlier the video that I posted earlier you'll see in there a comment from somebody and he is correct a hue is just the shade of the same color all man is the same color we are just developed in different shades and when it comes down to it um, the, the whole thing about the separatists and, and divisionary tactics comes mm. from things that other people write. In beginning was word. And if you think about that, even the Bible, and all of you know it, you can't deny it, the Bible has been rewritten and re 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 uh, transliterated so many times that it is today impossible to tell the truth and therefore the Bible is nothing but a system of beliefs so if you really want to believe in something start learning how to believe in yourself and your brothers and sisters of mankind and realize that when the elites use all these different tactics and you want to sit there and use those same tactics against other people 
You are part of the entire system of cognitive dissonance that they placed to keep you in control. They play you like a puppet. They play you like a puppet with their words. So when you want to sit there and, and admit that you are, you're a Moor and that you have a certain ancestry or, ancestry, or that you're a, a Al Albion or a cracker or a nigger or anything like that, remember the words that they derived from. And remember that the word nigger comes from troglodyte Niger. And if you understand that, they flipped everything on you. They flipped everything on you and made you believe that you're some kind of nigger. When in fact, this right here is a troglodyte nigger. Right here. Right here. And when you want to sit there and separate me from yourself being of a different hue, a different shade of the same color, remember, you, you darker complexed people, you melanated people that have more... <laughs> in your skin than I do. Understand that I, and I know there's a lot of people like myself of this same shade aren't going to like this comment, but we came from you. And then you want to sit there and call me some kind of racist or in, in, infer that I'm some kind of racist or I need to go back to my own. I'm trying to come back to my own, you ignorant fucks. Trying to show you we're all together. We're all one. And yet you want to use the same fucking separatist bullshit that the elites are pulling on you. While you're trying to escape their separatist bullshit. Kind of ignorant. Aaliyah, Catherine... Why are white called <laughs> crackers? Tell us. Because that's going to be a funny one. I know where you're going with it. But the thing is, people, if you're going to let somebody else define you, and again, I'm going to refer back to my previous uh, video and look at the name that I posted in there in regards to the separate races in the early 1900s, early 1800s, when anthropologists, anthropologists working for the state started telling you that there were different races was simply a way to divide you, to make you think you're, think you're different from somebody else. Correct, Leah. Cracker was the guy that was cracking the whip. That's why they call us crackers. Not because of the color of our, the, the shade of our skin. Because that, that term cracker didn't come around until the uh, 1700s, late 1700s, early 1800s. Same with, with uh, nigger. It didn't come around until uh, um, they decided to flip it. Because before that, like I said, it was troglodyte Niger. And it was for cave dwelling people that were of a lighter complexion, period. That's it. And so when it comes to these different races and everything, remember, go back to this, the, the statement I made earlier about the 12 tribes of Israel. The 12 tribes of Israel were 12 shades of man. That's all. That's the only thing. And they spread out from the, from the northern tip of Africa and Israel and all that and, and went forth and, and were being prosperous. That's all they were doing. That's all they cared about. And then when nations started building, and remember, <laughs> they are built by families. If you really truly want to be a part of the true nation, then you're a part of the mankind. The kind man. The one that's kind to each other. The one that's honest with each other. So that when they want to speak about Moors and I try to tell you the truth. Don't sit there and attack me for trying to tell you the truth. <laughs> Cognitive dissonance. And quit listening to the bullshit that other people are using to define you. And then you stand up so proud with these nice hats and these nice symbols on them. 
professing that you're a Moor and you've got the longest standing treaty that still stands today. Who do you really have a treaty with? Do you have a treaty with another man or do you have a treaty with your creator? Because if you think about it and if you really believe the Bible in, in, the, in the sense that God created man, you're a man and I'm a man. So we're both created by the same one, huh? Get out of your cognitive dissonance and quit letting these these elites tell you that you're that you have a choice of being a Democrat or Republican or a Christian or a Muslim. That you have a choice to decide what your nationality is. You don't have a choice. The truth is the truth whether you want to believe it or not. And just because you don't want to believe it doesn't give you any right to, or premise to turn around and attack me for trying to tell you the truth. It just proves that your ignorance in being caught up in the cognitive dissonance that they schemed for you is working. We choose to create love or feed hate, yes. That's exactly it. And that's why I apologize for my profanity earlier. I don't want to profess any kind of hate or, or anger or resentment. I just get passionate about things. Particularly when it comes to separatist bullshit. So when you want to let them sit there and define you, think about it. Think about it really hard. And maybe someday you'll figure out why it's so hard to escape it's because you're still letting them define you it's still it's because you're still letting them tell you that you're a moor or that you're a nigger or that you're a cracker or that you're a politician or that you're a rep republican or you're a liberalist or you're a rightist or leftist or christian or moslem is that really who you are or are you a man first and for all you women out there, think about this and think about it really clear. Because I give no qualms about anything when it comes to feminism. Because when it comes to feminism, think about it and stand up as a man. Because a woman is simply a man with a womb. Period. And that is whence the the deriv uh, derivation of the word woman comes from. Man with a womb. Just like the 12 shades of man. That's the only separate, separatist thing there is. Is a word. We're all mankind. Whether you're the male sex or the female sex. And this is easily <laughs> seen when you look at dogs. Or other any other animal, except for those that are asexual, night crawlers, things like that. But when it comes to mammals and, and amphibians and stuff that that have both sexes, do you think they have a problem with feminism? Do you think they have a problem with race? Do you think they have a problem with politics, religion? Nope. And it's only because somebody else came up with a word that you accept for its value. You accept the word nigger for its value without even realizing that the value you're putting on it is the value that somebody else put on it for you to believe. And then you don't even bother to do your own research to find out where it came from. So when you want to think about people calling you a nigger or a cracker, or an Albion. Fuck off. It's racist bullshit separatism. It's all divisionary tactics to keep me from you. To keep you from me. And I can't do it alone, and neither can you. So when you want to keep up with your bullshit, and accepting other people's bullshit as yours... Is it really Is it really your belief? Or is it your knowledge? Do you stand upon your knowledge or sit there and tap somebody else on the shoulder and say, Hey, come here and back me up? 
tell me, tell this guy he's wrong. Because you can't do it that way. You got to have truth. Because without truth, you ain't shit. You ain't shit but what other people tell you you are. Period. Unless you grow up and learn how to stand for yourself, by yourself, and show others that they can do the same, ain't no way anybody's going to be able to come together. No way. So when you want to sit there and, and, and believe the legal system, Go ahead and try to learn their language. It's not going to help you. Hey, Savi. Savi and Mary, uh, t uh, tell, tell old boy I, I, I've got him in my prayers. I hope the trial goes well. Um, I hope it's being done right. I know there's so much corruption out there, and that's part of it is the division. Um... They're using things against him as well as everybody else in society. And, and uh, my, my energies, uh, my po all my positive energies will be with him. So, but anyway, back to the uh, divisionary stuff. Um, we have to realize, people, um, that's all it is. It's divisionary tactics of the elite. So when you come across words that you think you understand, maybe you ought to th step back particularly with words that are derogatory in nature, and start understanding that the real derogatory <laughs> things in, in the words are all the things that separate you. When you want to start claiming nationality, when you want to start claiming a race, when you want to start claiming a social class, when you want to start claiming a political class, when you want to start claiming a religion, when you want to start claiming all these things that aren't you, but what somebody else tells you that you should be, Because I'm not telling you to be any of them. You can have those for beliefs if you want. That's up to you. But when it comes down to the reality, and I don't know how many of you, you out there consider yourselves addicts, but I was involved in, and still am involved in 12-step programs. And when I go in there and they want me to 